Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, we are going to look at the Elvis operator. But first of all, let me just show you some a little quick examples. So if I create, you know, a couple of strings, so string one and string, I'll allow it to be a nullable type for the purpose of this video. And then for string two, and again, this potentially could be known, but I'm just going to say this actually has a string. So, hello world. So, in colon. And now we're going to create a variable for length one. This is going to be a data type int. And we're just going to do an inline if statement. So, we're going to say if string one doesn't equal null, then essentially we want to get the string's length dot length. One. Let me just scroll over a bit. Actually, let me just change the preferences so we have line wrapping, word wrapping. So, where would this be? It's probably in general use soft wraps. Could that be it? What's that actually done? Don't think that's it. Da, 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 da. What do we afterwards? But let's just make sure that is on what or what. Yep, that is. It just shows the arrow, but they didn't let me. me. Okay, so string one dot length else minus one. So this basically says. If the string is a null, then get the length. Otherwise, just return minus one, and that's what's assigned to the integer value. And we're going to do the same, but we're going to have length two. And for this, it's going to be string two, and gain the string two length. Next, we are going to simply print these out. So print length and the print line length one, length two. And now, if we run it, let's see what we get. We get minus 1 and 11 because the first one has not. So the Alvis operator basically just simplifies this part of it. But I'll comment this out for now. So we do var length 1 equals, and uh, so we still want this as an integer data type, equals and string 1 for question mark dot length. Dot length question mark colon negative one. Okay, so this so this is just the same thing as this part here, and this is the same thing as this part. That's the way to think of it. So this is saying if this is not null, then get the length or whatever this property or method is of this variable. If it is null, then return this value. And as you'll see in a very short moment, this produces the exact same result. One benefit of this is it's shorter. You only have to repeat a string, you know, this variable once in there. Therefore, less likely to make mistakes in terms of, you know, especially if the variables are named with similar names. And we should get the result of minus 1 and 11. So there you go. That's how the Alvis operator works pretty simple really you can combine it with throw and return exceptions i expressions I, re I recommend that you do that as an extra task but if you have any questions feel free to point me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video